is a scam going on in America right now with regards to what is termed bioidentical testosterone. There are pharmacies in the U.S. that claim that this testosterone is all natural. It's not synthesized. And that is not true. Let's take a look at that. Pharmaceutical grade testosterone is synthesized testosterone, but so is bioidentical testosterone. Whether it's a gel or a patch, it's made from synthesized testosterone. So what does it mean to synthesize? What they do is they take precursors and they use chemical reactions to produce a more advanced molecule. In the case of testosterone, these precursors are yams and soybeans. So the issue is bioidentical testosterone, which is synthesized, same as pharmaceutical grade injectable testosterone, which one of these is best and why? Well, the bioidentical testosterone you have to take every day, whether it's a patch or a gel, but the injectable pharmaceutical grade testosterone has been modified so that it's a time-release testosterone. You only have to take an injection once a week and I think that's a great advantage. As I stated earlier, these pharmacies will try to pass this bioidentical testosterone off as natural. But you know, in a patch or gel, there are additives in those products that make them even less natural. So you need to consider that as well. Now what we've discussed so far are bioidentical hormones, testosterone, that's FDA approved and manufactured by a drug company in a clean room. And so is the pharmaceutical grade testosterone that's injectable. Now if we take this one step further, what we're seeing a lot of today are custom compounding of hormones, whether it be testosterone for men or uh, progesterone uh, for women, other, other types of hormones for women, and that is not approved or inspected by the FDA. It's not done in a clean room. It's done in a pharmacy. It's not done under controlled conditions. So that that is not approved by the FDA. You're taking your chances there. There have been some deaths associated with this compounding with regard to painkillers here in the United States, not necessarily with testosterone that I'm aware of, but you should just be uh, aware that there's a difference between bioidentical testosterone and custom compounded hormones. That is not approved by the FDA. The wisest course of action for anyone, man or woman, that thinking about testosterone or, or hormone replacement therapy is to go to a doctor that specializes in that area of medicine. Get your blood work done and then you'll know whether you're, say if a man if he's low on testosterone, he can get bioidentical testosterone, gel or a patch, or, or maybe your doctor would have you do the IM injections, the pharmaceutical grade uh, testosterone. But what I really don't like to see in the gym is guys in the locker room that have gotten the bioidentical you know, testosterone in the form of a patch or a gel and they think that they're, they differentiate themselves from the bodybuilders that are injecting pharmaceutical grade testosterone and there's really no difference. So don't think that you're better because you've got a patch and the guy across the gym is doing testosterone injections. It's all the same. It's bioidentical.